ETM's designed to mate an EX rack to a truss. It's a two-piece system with an L-bracket base and an elevator plate that allows you to adjust the height of the EX rack to provide clearance over the roof of the truck for rooftop tents and larger pieces of gear. Today we're putting this on a Toyota Tacoma, so we're not going to use the elevator plate. We'll just be using the L-bracket. But when we go to the truck to do the math to make sure that we've got our load bars set where we want them, we'll show you how to install an elevator plate and how to adjust it. On your L bracket, the six holes at the bottom are to attach to the load bar in your truss system, and the three holes at the top are to attach to the load bar on the EX. All of the L brackets will receive the same hardware. It's a bolt and a lock washer, and you notice we've already applied the VC3 thread locker and a T-slide. So I'm gonna line these up. The upper one that connects to the EX goes to the inside of the L and each one needs a bolt, a lock washer, and you wanna leave these loose by hand here so that you can th th slide the load bars right into place. That's your top section. That's where you'll actually attach to your EX. And then your lower section goes down to slide into the load bars on the truss. And that connection point, you're gonna have two sets of hardware and two T-nuts. So this is the load bar for the truss, this is for the EX. And we've got them loose enough that I'll, I'll be able to just sit up there and push them into place on the load bar. And <clears throat> I choked. <clears throat> this is for the truss, the two that are side by side. And see how they're loose like this? This is to allow me to just slide it into place on the load bar so I can line the EX rack up. The upper one is for the EX load bar and it's just got the single. The install we're working on today is on a Toyota Tacoma. We're gonna use the ETM to get the load bars of the EX as close to level with the roof rack as we can. We've taken a load bar that came with the EX kit and clamped it to the top of the load bar on the roof rack. Now I'll take the ETM, I'm gonna slide it in to the top of the load bar on the truss and slide this over. That's my fitment for a Toyota Tacoma on a 19 inch leg. We're not gonna have to use the elevators on this truck. If you require more height than just the L bracket by itself provides, you're gonna wanna remove the hardware for the upper connection point for the load bar. And you'll use an elevator plate to adjust it into position and raise the height up. The load bar would be connected here to raise the height up to the suitable level that you need it to be. And you're limited to where these holes will actually align with one another. Two bolts in each connection point is fine. You don't need to get four. So you, do, you have plenty of adjustability in the way that it can go up and down. If you're using the elevator plates, you'll use the included M8 hardware. It's the larger hardware of the two to put it into the position that you need it and align the holes. When it's in place where you want it to be, just install the nuts on the back and tighten everything up with a Allen wrench and a wrench. All of our EX racks are designed to align with the legs in any given truss system. You take your L brackets and in the front leg, you want that L bracket facing the front of the cab of the vehicle. At the rear, you want the big flat part pointed backwards towards the tailgate. So effectively, they should be sitting on the truck making an, an L, right? Where this is the back pointed to the tailgate, this is the front pointed to the cab. I've got the driver's side on, now I'm gonna put the passenger side on. It's the same configuration. And your position across here, right now, it doesn't matter at all. We'll set the position of this and tighten them down once we have the load bars to the EX and we have the left to right adjusted to make sure the EX is square on the truck. 
Take two of the load bars from your EX kit. We're gonna go ahead and slide them across. Just align the front small, shorter slot to the T-nut. Feed it across to the other side of the truck. And then repeat that process with the front load bar as well. Then you're ready to hang your groove tap. Okay, we've got the front and rear load bar slid across. Now we're ready to anchor the Groove Tech to the EX. It's almost never gonna be your front and rear load bar slot. You'll just start the hardware. Watch your gap at the front. Slide your EX back as far as it'll go to the front slot and then tighten this hardware up. Your rear slot may not fall in the same position as your front. You wanna use your front slot to set the position of the EX from front to back of the vehicle, and wherever the rear one falls is where it falls. Now that we've got both sides of the groove tech attached to the load bars and anchored to the top of the truss, we'll install the remaining load bars across here and then we'll square the whole thing up to the vehicle and then tighten down the remaining hardware for the L brackets. Once you've got all the load bars installed into the EX, now we just want to shift the EX rack into place so that the groove tech on the EX is in line with the groove tech on the roof rack if you have one. If you don't have a roof rack to use as a visual, just measure it and make sure that the EX rack is centered over top of the truss. After you've got all that dialed in, visually check it from the back, make sure that it's square, and then you can tighten up all the hardware on your L brackets. We've got all the load bars in, we've adjusted it left to right. We went ahead and set the, the position of your L brackets. You can place them anywhere along the load bars to make room for gear, but ideally you want them pushed as far to the outside edge of the EX as possible like we have them on this truck. The ultimate goal of an EX rack is to have enough platform surface and height to mount the larger rooftop tents on top of your vehicle. It's nice, the adjustable height in the ETM, and in some applications you'll be able to get your load bars on your EX dead level with your roof rack but that's not gonna be the case for every application. It's just too broad across too many different vehicles to get them to dial in completely. So understand the ultimate goal of the EX is to get the platform up high enough and anything you mount to the top of the EX extends out over the cab of the truck and doesn't interfere when the cab articulates against the bed.